In this video, we will see how to properly design inputs for CPLD using push button with debouncing using capacitor and built-in smith trigger. This is the circuit to get active high input. We have VCC and this is push button and we have pull down 10k register to get active high. In the normal in the usual active high circuit we only have this part however if we only use this part as our active high signal we will have a lot of problem because this push button will introduce a lot of high frequency noise when we push it and therefore we introduce a low pass filter consists of resistor and capacitor to filter out those high frequency noise. In this example, we have a RC circuit with time constant of 10 milliseconds. However, we still have one problem. By introducing the capacitor, we are causing the output voltage. This output voltage here can be and x the value anything between logic 0 to logic 1 and in digital we don't want to have any value in between 0 or 1 to solve this problem we will use mid trigger to ensure that the output will either stay at here at the 0 or at the logic 1 but never in between. To obtain active low signal, the circuit can be reused except that the position of the register and push button will be interchanged. So far I have mentioned the built-in smith trigger but I haven't talked about where it comes from. So later on when you want to program the CPLD, there is the when in the pin assignment there is option to set the built-in smith trigger input like this.